Would you do the world a favor and be you? Because everybody else is already taken. Do the world a favor and be you. The world needs you or God wouldn't have made you. If God wanted me to be somebody else, I wouldn't be here. I would be them. Stop trying to be somebody else. Stop letting the culture define what's beautiful. God says you're beautiful. Have you listened to God's voice in Psalms 139, 13, and 14, that when you in your mother's womb, you are wonderfully and fearfully made? Have you looked in the mirror and said, I'm wonderfully and fearfully made because God says? Or have you looked at TV images? Have you looked at magazine covers and said, oh, I'm ugly because I don't look like them? And God is going, precious child, you are beautiful to me. Did you all know that you are one of one? Like literally, there's only one model of you that's ever existed with your build, your makeup, everything that makes you you, your vibe, your speech, your dialect, the way you walk, the way you carry yourself. There's only one. No other fingerprint exists with you. None. And the very combination of what makes you you can only be explained by God. There's not another and won't ever, ever, ever be another like you. I want you to take note of that because a lot of times we count ourselves out because we might compare ourselves to someone else. We might compare our stories to someone else's. God not looking at you, looking to you to duplicate somebody else. Each of us is an original. One of one. Each of us is an original. So don't look at somebody else and say, man, I wish I could. I wish I had my life like them. The reality is you have a life like you and you haven't even tapped into it. Do you not realize how beautiful you are? Do you not realize how capable and qualified you are? Do you not realize how intelligent you are? Are you comparing your life to someone else trying to emulate or be someone else forgetting that this life you got is an original? Too many people go around feeling wrong on the inside. They don't really like who they are. They focus on their faults, weaknesses. They're constantly critical toward themselves. That recording of everything they've done wrong is always playing in their mind. Don't go around being against yourselves. You may have some things wrong with you, but can I tell you, you have a lot more right with you. You may have a long way to go, but if you look back, you'll see how far you've already come. Keep your flaws in perspective. Every person has something they're dealing with. When you are for yourself, you are in agreement with God. And some people have never once said, I like myself. I like my gifts. I like my personality. I like my looks. I'm happy with who God made me to be. I'm asking you to feel good about who you are. You may not be where you want to be, but you're on the way. God is changing you from glory to glory. Start enjoying the glory that you're in right now. You may have some weaknesses. We all do. Don't you dare go through life against yourself. God is saying today, you are my beloved son, my beloved daughter in whom I am well pleased. Now do your part. Start putting on the breastplate of God's approval each morning. When's the last time you thank God for how he made you? You see, we're so overwhelmed with what's wrong in our lives, we never thank God for what's right. It says, your workmanship is marvelous and how well I know it. God doesn't make junk and he made you. When God laid out the plan for your life, he carefully studied it. He thought about what you would need and what it would take to get you there. He gave you the talent you need, the strength, the confidence. You are the right size. You have the right looks. You have the right personality. You come from the right family. You are not lacking. You didn't get shortchanged. You are good enough. You are talented enough. You are smart enough. You are attractive enough. You have been fearfully and wonderfully made. You're more beautiful than you can see. You have no idea how beautiful you are. It's true. God made you beautiful. You're beautiful. You're attractive. You're one of a kind. You've been crowned with favor. You're a prize. Have an image of victory. You're not weak. 
defeated, overcome by problems, you're a warrior. You've been armed with strength for every battle. You are full of can-do power. The forces that are for you are greater than forces that are against you. You're stronger than you know. Stronger than you know. You're settling for so much less. Life is hard, and do you know why it is? Because God made you strong. Let the world be weak. You were made to be strong. The next time you say, I can't, I want you to remember Philippians 4.13, I can do all things in Christ who gives me strength. Who told you you're weak, not God? He made you strong. He made you powerful. He created you in His image. Now, quit comparing your looks, your gifts, your success with somebody else and be you. You are powerful. You are amazing. You are gifted. Nobody can do you like you can do you. Are you going to believe what the world says about you? That unless you look a certain way, unless you talk a certain way, unless you do certain things, unless you cave in to certain moral issues, unless you believe certain things, you're, you don't matter, you're worthless. Are you going to believe what God says about you? Some of those two, one of those opinions isn't going to matter in eternity. Yes, it's good to admire people. It's good to celebrate their gifts. But don't get so caught up in who they are that you forget who you are. You are gifted. You are talented. You are one of a kind. You, some, some of you believe this. You believe you're not talented and you're not gifted. And you know why I know that? Because that's what I used to think. I never thought I was going to be anything. I never, I, never thought, I never thought I was gifted. Just because you don't see your giftedness yet doesn't mean it's not there. But God doesn't create anyone without putting something significant on the inside. That's why the enemy works overtime to try to make you feel like you're not enough. I'll end with this poem by Russell Kelfer. You are who you are for a reason. You're part of an intricate plan. You're a precious and perfect, unique design called God's special woman or man. You look like you look for a reason. God made no mistake. He knit you together within the womb, and you're just what he wanted to make. The parents you had were the ones that he chose, and no matter how you may feel, they were custom designed with God's plan in mind, and they bear the master's seal. Know that trauma you faced was not easy. It wasn't easy. And God wept that it hurt you so but it was allowed to shape your heart so that into his likeness you'd grow. You are who you are for a reason. You have been formed by the master's rod. You are who you are, beloved, because there is a God.